so yeah my babies um you know they reached out to me recently and um the approach was just so humble and holy man i had no choice but to embrace that and everything was going great we met up <laughs> we met up and as i was saying you know i just noticed that this man didn't hug my daughter you know there was there was no kind of affection there was no kind of uh talk right um with her father and with her biological father and i right so let's make some things clear here i'm not um getting on here bashing this man and his family of course not you know i'm only telling my truth right so <laughs> with that being said right sometimes god will show you something just to show you that it's not what you wanted or needed at all you know what i mean like everything happens for a reason now that will always be her biological father you know the blood i mean me and this man was together we laid down and we, we 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 created the biggest blessing man in life and um with that being said man i just want to shout out to my husband because no he is not missouri's biological father but he is the man that stepped up <laughs> stepped up and took her on as his own you know he he he, te he stepped up and took her on as his own and took took on the responsibility of helping me raise my daughter you know and being that father figure in her life so baby i know you're watching this right now i am just so grateful thankful and blessed to have you in my soda in my life man you don't know how much you mean to us you know to, to, to always think right that I will I will always be a single mother and you know my, my, my daughter would never have a father figure to look up to man and that that is that is a very crucial thing in a child's life all kids need a, a mother and a father man and it's so unfortunate when when life throws us uh, these situations that we have no choice but to embrace them right um, because whatever reason <laughs> God sends us these situations is to learn, is to observe and to learn and to accept and forgive, right? So, baby, we're your, we're your two blessings, man, that, that God sent you, but understand that you are our blessing. You know, you came into my daughter's life at the age of two, two and a half, and you just never left. You never went nowhere. She just turned four, and you're who she knows you're you're who she calls daddy you know you you guys have formed your own bond that was never forced <laughs> it was only natural and you you love her so much you know and that that makes me love you more you know because for a man to step up and take care of a kid or children that are not his man <laughs> That's the greatest thing. That is beautiful. That is such beautiful work that only God can create, y'all. I, I want to let y'all know that um, I don't hate anyone in this world. I don't. I don't have hate in my heart. My heart is pure, pure and genuine and full of love, man. <laughs> So whatever the situation the whatever the situation turned out to be, right? I'm embracing that. You know, I realize that some things just are not meant to be and uh, uh, though you may think it sucks, right? God always knows something that we don't. Our job is to keep the faith and continue to pray, man. And that's all I can say, my babies. You know, if there's any single moms watching this video right now, I want you to <laughs> keep your head up baby girl keep your head up and, and keep your your crown straight you know what i'm saying because <laughs> nobody knows you know what, what 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 we go through right as single moms and how hard it is right you juggling um both roles of of the of the of the parents you are um you 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 have all of the responsibility for the child so yes although it's extra love and extra hug it, hugs and extra kisses and all all that good stuff when it comes to being a single mom um 
there there are the 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 cons right where things become difficult right and so, sometimes they become so difficult that the only thing you have to do in that situation is to keep your strength right and stay strong baby because where there's a storm there's a there's a sunshine with a rainbow coming coming out right after man believe me believe me you may not understand you know why god did this and why that but it's not your job to uh understand really why or figure out why he did the work that he did pertaining to your situation again the only thing to do is to have faith right and continue to pray for better and better doesn't always mean that the situation that was once this will come together in a whole full circle is all i'm trying to get y'all to understand is just like it's just sometimes what we think we want and need in our lives. It's not what we need and want in our in our lives. Can you understand that? Here I was thinking, right? Um, <laughs> my 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 daughter's entire life. You know, you think, you know, when you 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 create a blessing with someone, and you know, you think that you guys <laughs> will probably be together forever and all this kind of stuff. No, it doesn't uh, always happen that way. So it just happens that. So the moral of the story is just to talk about my situation is just after four years, y'all, I finally have clarity. I finally realized that I was never the problem. I was never the problem. Neither was my child, you know? It was just that um, one, one party in the situation just has always and, and still refuses to step up and, and man up. But I, I cannot be mad, right? We all have decisions and, and choices in our lives to make and uh, understand that each choice and decision you make can affect your whole life. So now I'm just embracing the change, you know? We try to come together and we try to... Um, come together mostly for the kids sake but pertaining to my situation i i needed everything to be in a full 360 you know yes it's about the kids y'all but if you're her biological father um you are supposed to uh step up in total this is what y'all came to me and you came to me and let me know that this is what y'all wanted so when i put the food on your plate you then showed me that you didn't want it so i have clarity now you know, I have clarity. I, I never said that uh, I didn't want my daughter. And, you know, I, I, I wasn't the one that left and, and never stepped up and embraced and, 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 and just did, did right, right, by my blessings and <laughs> did the work that God told me to do. I, I, I've, I've always stayed in my lane. You know, I'm not going to force anyone to... Uh, be in my daughter's life that does not want to be in my daughter's life you know as long as she has me my baby's forever blessed understand y'all that's my world my daughter is <laughs> my daughter's legit like my heartbeat outside of my chest that girl i can't move without my daughter. i can't move without her anybody that knows me knows how obsessed i am with that little princess man to, to see a, 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 such a beautiful blessing called life come from you and to watch it grow. It's the beautiful thing, man. And I love being a mom, y'all. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. I love being a mom. You know, I, I want five kids. I, I have one. <laughs> so the husband and I, we're, we're, we're working on expanding our family. And um, I just can't wait till the day it happens because... <laughs> For those of y'all that know me, and y'all my babies, y'all been tuned in for two months now, um, and y'all know how much I love my daughter, man. When God sent me her, you know, the only things he told me is that, you know, because there's no handbook when it comes to becoming a parent. You can get all the advice from um, people that are parents, people that are non-parents. You can get all the advice from counselors, doctors. You can get all the advice all, of, all, all from, from so many people, right, in this world pertaining to becoming a parent. But there's no handbook. There's no guidebook. You know, you, you basically... Um, you do what you know, and you learn, and you become a, a, a better a better parent. You understand what I'm saying? I just always did right by my daughter, you know. And for that, I know that I'm 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 truly blessed. You know, I I could have took the easy way out, but nah, you know. I I knew that in that in that time, you know, me being 18. <laughs> 
it's so surreal to say that right you know i was a teen mom y'all but i want y'all to see me and, and for real i want y'all to see me and, and, and look at me as living proof man things will get better in your life just always do right by your kids man and, and even though you think you know what's best for you always remember you are not in control of your life or your daughter's life we all must just surrender ourselves for god because god knows what's best for us <laughs> he always knows what's best for us you know we can be going down this path and everything can be going smooth there's no bumps there's no there's no there's no uh there's no accidents there's no um co collisions right and we going smooth, but out of nowhere, gotta gotta turn, shift that car to the left lane and let you know, nah, baby, this is where you need to be. Th this is where you need to be. And that's what he did for my daughter and I, you know. Sometimes God is just protecting us from things that they 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 are not right for us in our situation, you know. It'll always be what it is, you know. I would never take away um, the fact that me and this man laid down, we were together, and we and we created a blessing. I would never take away from that man, you know, but um, <clears throat> he played his cards, and we, and we now know what it is, right? After years of, of, of clarity on both sides, on, on his side and his wife's side, and, you know, now on my husband and on my husband and, and, and I, and, and, uh, Ugh. on my side and my husband's side you know we we just tried to do the right thing but it wouldn't be right it wouldn't be right for my daughter to step <laughs> it wouldn't be right to board the train with my right leg hanging out you know i'm something i'm somebody that's all in or all out you understand what i'm saying there's no gray area when it comes to my child either you fuck with us or you don't either you want to be in her life and 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 just love that little girl or you don't you know because she gets so much love from her mother and her father you yeah, know i'm talking about the husband man that that girl is the happiest sweetest little angel ever man and to be quite frankly honest she's not missing out on a thing you know <laughs> she's not missing out on the thing since day one i've just i just need y'all to know that regardless of how the situation turns out you stay true to you and you always do right by your kids man you always do right by your kids you know these kids didn't ask to be here y'all we we brung them here you know, we, we bring them forth. So it's our job as parents to uh, do right by the kids always. So y'all, this is my next video on my channel. I hope you can understand what I'm saying. I, I know I'm all over the place, but it's, it's just as simple as this. You know, I got pregnant at 18. I was a teen mom. I stepped up to my responsibilities. It's unfortunate that the father did not step up. And you know, even uh, most recently when we tried to come, come, we, we all tried to humble ourselves and just do the right thing, right? Because uh, God wouldn't uh, send us um, more than we can bear right so we, we we all try to do the right thing but you know when it when it comes to the food being you ask for the food right when it comes to me serving you the food directly on your plate in front of your face you then shove the food shove the plate away from me i mean away from yourself and let me know i don't want this so at that point in time i gained so much clarity that i cannot even be mad I can't be mad. I, I, my daughter has a mother that loves her uh, m more than life itself. Believe that. And um, as as, lo as long as I'm up and as long as I'm doing what the fuck I gotta do, my, my daughter's good, y'all. She ain't never need for nothing or want for nothing because that's mama baby. She's a spoiled little princess, believe it or not, man. And y'all know what I'm trying to do, man. I'm, I'm so big on my career. You know, uh, I need y'all to know that I'm, I'm going so, 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 so far. And that's why y'all are my babies, because y'all have been here for two months now. And I'm not going nowhere. So get used to this face. Get used to this channel. Get used to this um, this brand, Raya J's Reality, man, because it's much more to come. I love y'all so, so much. Thank y'all for listening. It's, it, it is a two-part video. I'm so sorry for that. I was trying to make it a one-part video. Um... But that's it, y'all. Raya J's reality. Thank y'all for tuning in again. And I'll see y'all next week with another video. Love y'all. Peace and blessings.
God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Amen. Y'all have a blessed day.